Okay, guys, so this is a lesson on importing MIDI files into Studio One for Prime. We're using for Prime here because it's just the easy free uh, version with Studio One. However, it would work with other versions of Studio One. So I'm going to start by um, Googling up uh, MuseScore. Oh, I've already got one here. So MuseScore.com, a uh, really handy site to find MIDI files which are songs saved as MIDI of all different sorts. Um, you can search for them here or you can browse for them. Uh, if I hit browse, there's all this sheet music. Um, I don't really know what I'm looking for. Let's just pick one. Pick one with a few tracks. Here we go. It's called Who Cares? Perfect. Who Cares? Uh, we can see it's written for trumpet, mellophone, trombone, baritone horn, and a sousaphone. You don't have to know what they are, it doesn't matter. We can turn it into whatever we like once it's in the song. We can play it a little bit here. Give it a test. Okay. There's also a lot of pop songs and modern music on here as well if you search for it. Um, let's do Ed Sheeran, for example. Perfect comes up straight away, no surprises there. You can have a listen to that. Nice simple one there. Um, and it's not supposed to sound like a real recording. You'll notice it is kind of robotic, and that's because the computer is actually reading the notes, interpreting those notes, sticking an instrument on them, in this case piano, and then playing it back to you. But once we get into Studio One, we can add whatever instrument we like, um, and we can play with it a lot more. So if I want to download that as a MIDI, I just click Download. And then I can download it in all these different forms. So I could download it as a PDF if I wanted to print the music um, and then perhaps try and play it on the piano. Um, music XML and MIDI are quite similar, um, but in this case we want the MIDI. The MP3 is for, well, you, you download that and that's what you get to hear to listen to. Um, or opening music score is, is what we have already. We're going to click MIDI. Now, if you don't have an account, uh, an account here, you may just have to create a small um, account um, in order to download the files. They want you to do that. That's the way it is. Um, mine's downloaded here, so I can see it. I can open that in folder. And there's my file there. Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Now, if I get my Studio One up in the background, just ignore that error that comes up in your mind for some reason. We can click and drag that file into Studio One. And it'll create this silly error for me. Ignore that error, it's just something that's going on with my computer at the moment. Um, and there it is, it should just come up like that. We have two tracks. One of them's armed for recording. I don't really want to record over that, so I'm gonna unclick that. If I try and play this track now, you'll notice that we get nothing at all. And that's because these tracks don't have any instrument assigned to them yet. You see over here they say none, none, no instruments assigned. So this is where we need our instruments tab on the right hand side. You can either click here or you can click the tab, doesn't matter. Um, and then yours might be tucked up like this and you can expand out your instruments. I have quite a lot of instruments because I'm, I'm actually running um, Studio One Professional. Uh, which I need for various recording, but you will have some instruments here um, and you've loaded the packs for those. So we can just grab one of these instruments. I think Presence is one that you guys have. Um, here's a set of instruments. We might want to make it keyboards. Let's just grab an accordion for the sake of it. We'll put that on the top one as the, as the uh, melody from memory. And it brings up that instrument, and there's all sorts of things I can do to it. Um, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to close that again. I'm going to play it and hear that top track with an accordion. That sounds okay. Uh, 
let's stick a rock organ. I'm oh, sorry, rock, 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 rock organ on the bottom one. Now we'll have both tracks. So that's what it means to me when I can just play a button. For you guys to go through and figure out something that's cool to do. You can make things sound really modern and quite um, I don't know, dubstepy if you want to. Uh, let's grab some strings in. And the beauty of this is it's quite cheap, so now I'm going to go and start adding some loops to it, I think. Let's see how it goes now. We'll figure out some uh, soft rock drum. Might not quite work, but just for the sake of a demonstration, let's go from bar 9 with our rock drums. some instruments loaded onto those files. Enjoy. <laughs> 